In this video, we continue our discussion about how doctors make money. As we mentioned in part one of how doctors make money, in your doctor's office, doctors usually bill your visit to insurance companies with a CPT code. CPT codes, or Current Procedural Terminology Codes, were created by and copyrighted by the American Medical Association. Developed decades ago, a CPT code is a five-digit number that tells an insurance company like Medicare, Medicaid, or the commercial insurance companies the level of service that was provided to you. There are thousands of CPT codes. Some of the key codes in use throughout the United States are evaluation and management codes, known to clinicians as E&M codes. As we think about how those codes generate revenue to doctors, let's think about how Dr. Smith, the owner of a small practice, makes money for his business. Dr. Smith takes six weeks off a year. He works 46 weeks a year. He and his team are very efficient, so he sees about 36 patients a day. He sees patients Monday through Friday afternoon, about four and a half days a week. He uses Friday afternoon to finish out the work week and get caught up on paperwork. Dr. Smith sees a mix of new patients and return visits during his work week. Review the video, How Doctors Make Money, Part 1, for an understanding of new and established patients. To get a sense of the revenue Dr. Smith generates, and to keep this video short, we assume he sees and builds all new patients as level 3s and all rechecks as level 3s, and that 20% of these patients are Medicare patients and 80% are commercial insurance patients. Generally, Medicare pays less than commercial insurance companies do, so in our example, we'll assume the commercial companies pay Dr. Smith 50% more than Medicare. Based on these overly simple data pieces, Dr. Smith generates about $4,600 a day, $21,000 a week, and nearly $1 million a year. Now, if you recall from our example and how private practice doctors are paid, let's assume that Dr. Smith's practice cost $500,000 a year to run. As you can see, after he pays his expenses, Dr. Smith has nearly $460,000 available to pay himself, reinvest in the practice, or pay employee bonuses, or the like. This is a very simplistic example, but as with our other videos, it paints a directionally accurate picture of care delivery across the United States. Remember, Cube's videos are not meant to answer all questions precisely. There are so many moving parts in the delivery of healthcare throughout the country. Just remember, some nuance exists geographically. Healthcare really is local. If you have an idea you'd like us to address, please subscribe, like, or share. And if you have any questions, email them confidentially to questions at cube.org. Stay tuned for our next educational video.